Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Jenny. It's been a while. It's been a rough week, but I'm putting that behind me and I'm looking forward to doing multiple videos this coming week and this is going to be one of them. My husband and I went to a total of four Dollar Tree. So in the lower right hand corner, I will put each location. So if you are from around here, you'll know exactly where I went and what is what I was able to find. Um, on this channel, I go to multiple Dollar Trees um, to keep you up to date on what is new. I do Dollar Tree hauls and some other stores. So if that's something that you're interested in, then this might be a channel you might want to subscribe to. So with all that said, I hope you all enjoy these four trips and I will see you at the Dollar Tree. All right, so look at here, they have their fuzzy slippers and not just plain slippers. These have Spider-Man. These are sizes five to nine. They also have the like cheetah print and this looks like maybe the galaxy or something. They had plain colors as well and the checkered ones. Here are some new barrettes that are really cute. And you guys, look at this Christmas wreath. What? It is a snowman. It is 17 inches wide and 22 inches tall. Amazing. So cute. Those, I know for sure, are going to go quick. They're getting some more of their holiday floral out. And look how beautiful these colors are. So this is more of your cream and pink. And this blue is just absolutely gorgeous. It has some silver sparkles there and some little silver balls that go with it. And this one had like pink ones. So yeah, those are super cute. And these are one of my favorite branches that the Dollar Tree carries around the holidays. I love the little frost look. Here are some stickers by Crafter Square. These are cute little fall ones. You get 14 per pack. Here they have some spirit figurines. They had a few different horses and the characters. These are ages three and up. These are these would be really cute to put on a birthday cake or little stocking stuffers. Name brand. And they had another horse right up there. And look at this bubble mailer by Jot. Jot, you rock. It's 11 by eight and a half and they have green, red, gold, and silver. And these were with all the other stationary stuff. Oh, that's a cute little divider thingy. That's her kind of a paper holder or whatever. They have a lot of new canvas art. Um, I show you at this Dollar Tree and some of the others. These are sizes 8 by 8 Now also with these, these would be even cool to take the canvas off of the frame. And then it leaves you with, well, a plain wooden frame that you can do other things with. You can make them into a tray. You can use a different background for them. And you can cut this canvas and have it fit in, you know, something else. In the background, in a, a shadow box or something. So, yeah, these are really pretty colors. I'm not a huge fan of the gold sparkle on some of these. But other than that, I think these are cute little um, additions you can put in your room, dorm room, um, bathrooms, you know, wherever. They do hang up or you can just prop them against the wall on a shelf. Oh, and I found this cow too. Look how cute that cow is. I love the blue. And then they have a Let It Be. For those Purdue fans, they have these reusable tote bags. Here's some new socks. These are cute little animal prints. These are women's socks, sizes five to nine. And I'll be showing you a lot of socks. Here they have the uh, pool noodles. They carry these around every single holiday. Look at this skull fence. Now you can always spray paint this and do something else with it. Here they have these Halloween buckets. You can put floral in there. You can put candy in there. Bath goods. 
whatever. Look at this. This is a, what is that? Some kind of steak? That, oh, you get two of them. It's a yard steak with chains. That's cool that you get two. So they had this like silver and black one and they also had it in gold. Now, if I had to guess, I would say that's about probably 18 inches. They have these again this year, the arms spread out so you can do different things with them. Look at these, pumpkin teeth, glow in the dark, and these were actually heavy duty, and it's a seven piece set. Here are these glass tea light holders. These are super cute, pretty heavy as well. And they have it in the yellow, and this beautiful blue. They also have it in your, well, traditional clear, I guess, and the orange. Yeah, those are really nice. Here they have some of the wax melts. Here's some new bath, bathroom, birthday banners. <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> Okay, here's some more of their um, frame art. These are sizes 12 by 8. While I'm showing you this stack pretty quickly, um, I did go to a follow-up doctor's appointment yesterday, and they went over everything that they found during my surgery, um, which was, I think, almost two weeks ago already. Um I'll go into details in some other video at some point, um, but I am on four new medications, and um, if all that fails, oh, and I start physical therapy, and I have to be on a special diet, which I don't think is going to go very well, but oh well, I'll, I'll try. I, lo I love my chocolate. Um, but if all that fails, um, they will be using a device. It'll be something like a pacemaker um, implanted in me, but... You know, that's down the road. Hopefully all this medication that they're putting me on, it's a trial and error kind of thing. So hopefully with time, um, things will get back to somewhat normal. So just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I did go to the doctor. I'm doing okay. Again, I have my good and bad days. Same with my husband. So he starts phys physical therapy here and I think in a week or two. So yeah, just taking day by day. We're getting there. So I just want to throw that in here while I'm showing you these pictures, which I think are absolutely adorable. Again, you don't have to use the frames. You can take the pictures out, do something else with them. So, oh, and I found some more canvas arts here. I don't think I showed you these at the other Dollar Tree. So just in case, I'm going to show you these really quick. Really like that one. Here's some new wall stickers. I thought this one was really cute. And then they had that one and the laundry one I thought was cute as well. But I don't have a laundry room. I wanted to show you guys this uh, Crafter Square section. I'm going to go through it fairly quickly. They actually had this entire aisle and then part of another aisle. But there were customers looking at stuff. So I did not want to record them. So I'm just going to mainly do this part right here and then two of the end caps. Um, I know a lot of you have been traveling here to Fort Wayne to come to this Dollar Tree. Um, last weekend, I bumped into two subscribers and another YouTuber um, that drove here to Fort Wayne from New York. And they spent a few days here to go to, I think, most of all of my Dollar Trees, which I think think I have 13 Dollar Trees here in my town. Can't really remember. And then another fellow Hoosier um, that I bumped into and I think her name was Nita or Anita or something like that. And last night when I was at actually this Dollar Tree that you're seeing right now because this one we went to last night, I bumped into another subscriber and I forgot to get her name, but I know this is the second time I bumped into her. So I just really love getting to meet you guys. So if you do see me out, please don't be scared or shy to come up to me to say hi. Um, because I just love to um, see you guys. You get to see me, but I never get to see you. So just again, please don't be, you know, shy or afraid. I don't bite, I promise. So yeah, I wanted to throw that in here really quick. So yeah, this Dollar Tree here always has an amazing variety of different things throughout their entire store 
And this one is over 13,000 square feet. And this is another end cap. And then this was another one of the end caps. And actually, I think there was three other end caps I forgot to record now that I think of it. But moving right along to the toy department, they have these new bubble poppers. These are our popping toy. These are different from what they had a couple of weeks ago. So these are always nice to keep on hand, like in your diaper bag or in the car or grandma's house. These are ages three and up. And look at these new fuzzy friends. These are actually really cute and made pretty well. So very impressed on these dogs. Uh, well, dog and bear, I should say. And their neighbors are right down here. Um, they had the sloth. And a giraffe. And a cute little monkey. And, of course, a unicorn. And look at here. We have a new shipment of more minions. Holy cow. I don't think this convention's ever going to end. And look at these fuzzy friends. I found three different ones. And these feel just like those squishmallows. Amazing finds. Look at these little beauty bottle things. And it comes with a little spatula thing. Oh, what? elf foundation look how big this thing is wow and they only had it in one shade but you guys for one dollar and look at this name brand this is soft matte lip cream lip cream okay so is that another fancy word for lipstick i don't know but it's name brand only a buck and these are all the colors that they had here they had some infused uh, bath sponges. I don't know if they had these before or not, but they had two different ones. I think they might have had those before. And they have the lip scrub back in stock and the sleeping mask, a 1.7 ounce. I bought that scrub before and it works pretty good, especially in the winter. It's like my lips turn to concrete in the winter. Look at here. They have some more gold toe socks. As you've seen the little sticker there, these retail for $8 a pair. And look at this. This is a three-pack, you guys. A three-pack of name brand men's socks. Easily probably 15 bucks at any other store for $1. If anything, if you are someone that loves to donate to charities and to homeless um, shelters, amazing deals. Because I know they're always in need for socks. I just took a bunch of hats and gloves to mine the other day. Great deal. And these right here, power socks, you get two pair. And these things were so thick. I know they're sports socks, but still. And they had a lot of bum socks. Speaking of socks, I'm going to show you this aisle of socks here at this Dollar Tree. It is just, it's like a sock factory. It's insane. So they have socks from newborn all the way up to adult. They have no-shows. They have dress socks, uh, regular socks, fuzzy socks. It's just amazing. They have diabetic socks, which I wish my dad was still around. I would have totally bought those for him because he was um, a type 1 diabetic. Yeah, right there, those white ones are diabetic. And they also have them in black as well. A couple of different styles. And they had all these cute little socks. Silver toe. Look how fancy those are. You get two pair. I want to record my son. He came to this Dollar Tree with us. And that's my son, Alex. They have pantyhose. Oh, Captain Crunch berry cereal. 
13 ounce box for $1. Oh, amazing. Smart fries. Hmm. Should have bought those and tried them to see if I felt any smarter. Eh, don't know. VT. Did I say that right? Rice and healthy whole grain. Oh! <gasps> what are you doing over here? Kitchen towel with a gnome? Oh, super cute. They have these back in stock. These are the Sur uh, Sure Fresh storage containers, and they have an ice pack in the lid. They had it in two different colors and two different sizes. Looky here, they have some Halloween shot glasses. You get a pack of four. It has like a skeleton hand wrapped around it. They had it in orange, purple, and it's like a gray or black. Look at this garland. That's cute. 59 inches. So that one had black cats. This one had the ghosts. And the skeletons are super cute. Now you can always cut them apart and use them, you know, elsewhere. You don't have to use it as garland if you don't want to. But yeah, those are cute. Some of their tinsel. They had different things on them. Those are usually nine feet, I do believe. Yep, nine feet. There's their ghosts. I really like those ghosts. I remember years ago they came out with those. Those are really cute. Again, they have posable arms. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, that would be even cool if they turned it like that and spray painted it or something. But that's cute that it comes with a pack of three like that. The sugar skull over here by their Christmas stuff they have these containers you get four of them so that one is a bell and a Christmas tree and a star and I hurried up and got up because I noticed gnomes look at the gnomes over here you guys look how cute these ornaments are these are a four pack and they are four inch by two inch what Oh, so excited. These are really cute, too. Those are seven inches tall. They had two different ones. And then they had this one down here. Again, two different ones. And these are ten inches long. The dangly legs. <laughs> How adorable. So cute. And these they had last year, but you guys, um, they lost a lot of weight from last year. What? They hardly had any stuffing in them. What the heck? I need to know their diet. And then over here, they have like the gnome lights, the gnome signs. I think it's so cute that they're doing little gnome sections. Huh, love it. Other than that, I think that was about all the new Christmas stuff. Oh, wait, nope. Oh! <gasps> You guys, look at the DIY snow globe. Look how huge it is this year. What? That's amazing. Wow. And I think that was like seven inches halfway around. So, yeah. They're getting their gift bags out. And their tissue paper. These are their little trays, which I believe they're a little different this year because I don't remember them having feet. Did they have feet last year? See the little prong things? I don't know. I think they're cute. They have the Christmas tree snowflake. No, the snowflake didn't have it. And then the candy thing there. Over here, they have the LED Chris or Christmas crown. Oh my gosh. Princess crown. And they had it in two different colors and it sparkles. It lights up. They had some hair extensions, some wings. Okay, moving on. Here are some stockings with gnomes. How cute are those? They're 18 inches. They had it in red and gray. Some more of their signs. Oh, so cute. Now, they had these last year, but I think these are really, really cute. You don't have to put them on top of a Christmas tree. They have an on-off button there. This is really freaky. It is a skeleton mermaid. 
Yeah. Very creepy. Very creepy. Different. How about a bag of skulls? You get an eight pack, I believe. And this crossbones with a skull. Here on the end cap, they have some more of their Christmas bags. I did not dig through any of them. I just didn't feel like it. But those are cute to buy and cut up and frame. There's some more. And I love these wine bottle bags with a little hat. Those are super cute. More wine bags. Here's some labels. A 40 pack by Jai. Here's some new books. Get Good, a gaming book. And let's see. Yeah, they had quite a few new ones. I don't spend a whole lot of time over here, but... Make Yourself at Home. And I was debating on getting this book because my third oldest is moving out and I think a week or two. And I am working on a, um, uh, what is it? A home, welcome home, or I don't know, homewarming gift. There it is. I knew if I would stumble enough, I would figure it out. I did it with my other two oldest and I'll be doing it with her. And I will do a video on all these goodies that I buy um, in about a month's time. And I make up a little basket for for stuff for her new house. Now, I did one of them um, a couple years ago for my other daughter. I'll, If I remember, I'll link that video down below if you wanted to check out to see what kind of stuff I got my daughter. Ooh, that's creepy. Wasn't expecting that. Catch you off guard. Let's see. Woman 99. Yeah, great. Oh, here's a new cat book. Pounce. Let's see. I think this one retailed for uh, $24.99, which is crazy. Although I still like to go to Barnes & Noble. I just, like I told you before, I just love the smell of that store. For some reason, I feel like I, I don't know, like I'm smart or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just being weird. Oh, look here. We have some elf blush and a new elf brush. Small tapered. Huh. Not bad for a buck. Here's some skull candles. Some are a little pinker than the others. So those are kind of creepy looking. Look at here. Family size General Mills Cinnamon Toast Crunch Churros. One dollar. Here's a new oven mitt. I think. And the pot holders, you get two per pack. Look at this. This is a blank canvas tote bag. It's a 16 by 13. It's 100% cotton. Okay, well, that's the end of our $4 treat trips. I sure hope you enjoyed it and you're able to find some goodies too. Jot down onto your wish list. If you want, why don't you go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've seen something in hopes that you can find at one of your local Dollar Trees. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload a video, then be sure you click on to that little bell. If you would like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'm going to link that down below as well. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Saturday. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.